News at 4 o'clock. ABC 10 News at 5 starts right now. It pays to get vaccinated. California is handing out $116 million worth of incentives for state residents to get their COVID-19 shots. We'll tell you about the different opportunities to win some money. And local businesses preparing for bigger beach crowds this Memorial Day weekend. How they're hoping to rebound after a tough year. And investigators say the gunman from yesterday's deadly shooting in San Jose appeared to target some of his victims and then spare others. What we're learning about him and those who died. ABC 10 News at 5 starts now. These are the nine people who lost their lives when a gunman went on a shooting rampage at a rail yard in San Jose. Good evening, I'm Lindsay Pena. And I'm Steve Atkinson. One day after that mass shooting, frustration is mounting over gun laws. More on that in just a moment. But first, we begin with ABC's Morgan Norwood, who discovered the victims were targeted by the gunman. While authorities search for a motive in the rail yard massacre in San Jose, loved ones of both survivors and victims left reeling in anguish as they try to make sense of this senseless shooting. It grabbed my hand. Tara Fritsch says her husband of 20 years died in her arms. He's crying. <laughs> and he took his last breath and his heart stopped. Oh my gosh. I did it there. Joanna Talvato anxiously awaiting news that her father, Russell Talvato, who hid behind a train car, was okay. He heard the shooter shooting inside. So luckily, um, he was able to run for his life. The CEO of VTA holding a moment of silence for the nine employees killed. All of them men, the shooter seemingly choosing his targets. I do know that he had a specific agenda and was targeting certain people. He walked by other people. He let other people live as he gunned down other people. We heard they, uh, he chose the people to shot, but I don't know why they chose him. He has nothing to do with him. Authorities say the shooter was loaded with two semi-automatics and ammunition. Kirk Bartlett heard the barrage of shots. He ran to help, but it was too late. I just wanted to help. I just wanted to see if I could save anybody. And uh, there wasn't anything anybody could do. Investigators are still working to determine a motive, which includes going through the gunman's social media accounts and cell phones. Loved ones will come together to remember the lives lost during a vigil tonight. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles. Totally disgusted. Um, really disappointed and, and angry. In the wake of another mass shooting, growing frustration about the ability for gun regulation and gun rights advocates to come together to save lives. ABC 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky spoke with them about what they say is standing in the way of a compromise. In the wake of the mass shooting in San Jose, new calls for gun reform. Right now, there are way too many people slipping through the cracks People who shouldn't have guns are getting them, and it's unacceptable. Carol Landale heads the San Diego chapter of the Brady Campaign to prevent gun violence. She says with mass shootings becoming a daily occurrence, there's clearly a problem. We've got too many guns out there. I, at the last estimate I saw was, I think, 400 million for a population of 300 million. Um, there's something wrong with the picture. They say just as wrong is that major action isn't being taken by the federal government as a response. It's a frustration that poured out of Governor Gavin Newsom after yesterday's shooting. There's a sameness to this, and that numbness, I think, is something we're all feeling. What the hell's going on in the United States of America? What the hell's wrong with us? We've had more mass shootings in 2021 than we've had days in the year. And so what, gun owners, is your solution? Because they want to save lives as much as we do. What we want to do is create an environment where we are able to flag people who have mental health problems, intervene early, but also give people their rights of sec Second Amendment self-defense. Former San Diego City Council member Carl DeMaio says allowing people to be armed to protect themselves is far more effective at preventing violence. We believe the best way to stop a, a, um, uh, a criminal uh, or a madman with a gun is to have a hero properly armed to protect life. So far, Congress hasn't found a compromise leading frustration to grow on both sides. Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News. And today a new survey was released on Californians and mass shootings. Among adults in our state, 63% who were surveyed said gun laws should be stricter than they are now. 
16% said they should be less strict, and 19% said they should remain the same. Meantime, half of those surveyed said they are either very or somewhat concerned about the threat of a mass shooting in their area. And you can follow any developments surrounding this story by downloading our free mobile app. Just go to the App Store and search 10 News. Memorial Day weekend has not even started, but it is already looking a little bit different out there. On the left side, you can see the smaller crowds and police patrols enforcing social distancing. This was last year. And on the right, video from Sky 10 taken earlier today of people already hitting our beaches. This is the first holiday weekend since many COVID restrictions were downgraded. Our ABC 10 reporter Rena Nakano is joining us from Mission Beach with how local businesses are seeing this as the moment they begin to rebound. Rena. Hey Steve, yeah, when there's a lot of people out here on the sand, that means there's a lot of foot traffic going that way towards the local shops. And I spoke to one shop owner who tells me that he somehow survived last year's shutdown. This weekend, he is excited to see those crowds back. San Diego law enforcement and lifeguards are ready for the huge Memorial Day weekend beach crowds. Different year this year than it was last year. Uh, we're excited for it. Last year, these beaches were basically off limits. Parking lots were taped off, masks and six foot social distance were required, and you weren't even allowed to place your beach towel down on the sand. Now, with more people vaccinated and infection numbers slowing down, things are opening back up. It's been a while since uh, we did good in the holiday season. Mission Beach bikini shop owner Erez Otava says last year business was dismal. I went up and down, up and down, but the corona was the worst ever. And thank God we bounced. Now, with many of the COVID restrictions lifted, AAA estimates that 37 million Americans will travel 50 miles or more from home. That's up 60% from last year. But Atava says they're still missing a chunk of their usual customers. But the Europeans, they're still not here. Normally, we get a lot of Europeans here too, but uh, domestic traffic and uh, Arizona, Vegas, Nevada. Still, seeing these crowds form back up is such encouraging news for Atava. He says he knows what rock bottom feels like it's only going up from here. People are feeling better about themselves. They're more confident. And so uh, we're looking forward to for the weekend. Now, park rangers, police and lifeguards told me that they are going to be beefing up their presence out here, but they say do not forget about the pre COVID restrictions. Some of these ones, uh, no alcohol, no glass containers, no smoking, littering or disturbing noise. And of course, always keep an eye on your family. Reporting live out here in Mission Beach, I'm Rena Nakano, ABC 10 News. Thank you, Rena. And as more people are getting comfortable with traveling, demand for Airbnb rentals is skyrocketing. But don't plan on having any parties. The company says it is extending its ban on gatherings through the summer. Over the past year, San Diego has seen a handful of vacation rentals become problems. So-called known party houses from La Jolla to Bankers Hill. But last August, Airbnb announced a ban on parties during the pandemic and started removing local properties, breaking the rules. It was quite popular with our host community. I'd say, you know, in, including in San Diego. Ben Briott with Airbnb says the company is now planning to extend that ban. We are going to continue to take a hard line on parties, on certainly any disruptive gatherings, at least through the end of summer, at which point, you know, we'll reassess and try to figure out what is the prudent way forward. It comes at a time when demand for short term and vacation rentals is growing. According to data firm AirDnd, there's a 66 percent increase over last year. Briot says their policies mandate that hosts and guests adhere to local public health laws. Public health is still a, a very important factor for us uh, and an important consideration, um, but it's also just about being good neighbors. For those contemplating breaking the rules, Airbnb says hosts could lose their ability to list. Potentially a suspension of the listing, sometimes full removal. And guests might face some stiff consequences, including being banned or and even considering uh, affirmative legal action uh, against guests who, who have done something like this. Now, Airbnb says they do have a 24-7 hotline available for people to report parties at rentals. You can go to our website, 10news.com, for the number and more on the party ban. All right, now to the latest numbers on coronavirus in the county. 101 new cases were reported today. That brings our total to almost 280,000. And there was one new death. That brings that total to 3,756. 
More than $100 million in prize money will soon be up for grabs for vaccinated Californians. Governor Gavin Newsom announced the massive pot of money as part of an effort to encourage more people to get their shots. Our ABC 10 reporter Anthony Pura has more on the largest prize announced for any state so far. Anthony. That's right. There is a big push to get vaccines into arms. And right now, California is offering up millions of dollars to its residents as an incentive to get vaccinated. So according to the state, close to 63% of Californians 12 and older are at least partially vaccinated. But about 12 million people who are eligible for the vaccine have not got it. The state is setting aside $50 gift cards for newly vaccinated people starting today. They're giving them to the first 2 million people in a first come first serve basis. Now there are also cash prizes that anyone vaccinated can have a chance at, meaning anyone who's gotten at least one shot of the vaccine is automatically enrolled in the incentive program. 30 people will be selected to get $50,000 each. 10 people will be selected to get $1.5 million each. This totals up to a $116.5 million incentive program for California. The governor in a press conference today saying that the state can't afford to not do anything. People in the state of California and the costs in terms of business interruptions, the cost in terms of the opportunity not to be back in school for in-person instruction. We can't afford to run, forgive me, the 90 yard dash we got to finish the job. And CVS today announced that they are also offering incentives for anyone vaccinated by June 1st. They'll have a chance at some sweepstakes prizes, including cash, destination vacations and trips. They add to a list of business businesses that are getting involved in incentivizing getting vaccinated. We're reporting live in North Park, Anthony Pura, ABC 10 News. It is working. Anthony, thank you. As states work to get more people vaccinated, there is renewed focus on how the pandemic started. There are two new leading theories. Either the virus was transmitted through contact with a diseased animal or it accidentally leaked from a lab in China. President Biden has ordered the U.S. intelligence community to redouble its efforts and report back in three months. He felt that it was important, given a lot of confusion out there, to make public not only what the IC had done, but also to expand the investigation for 90 days, add more components of the federal government, including our national labs and our health and medical expertise. China has denied a possible lab leak, but has come under pressure to grant more access to investigators. Well, students were evacuated because of a fire on San Diego High School's campus this afternoon. This happened just before 1.20. The students waited on the campus's football field as fire crews arrived. School staff directed those crews to a fire near one of the school's restrooms. No one was injured and the building wasn't damaged. The cause of the fire is still under investigation.